Hello, everyone. If I could ask you to take your seats, we're going to try to start just one minute early. We have a very well done video of last night's arcade reception. And uh, we'd like to show that to give those who weren't able to join us a little flavor of what it is that we did and some of the innovations that we were actually able to experience. And then following that, we'll hear uh, who the runner up and the, uh, the leading innovator uh, what, that was selected by a group of judges that hopefully Jeff will describe a little bit uh, the process. So with that, we enjoy the video. to see that not just in medicine but in nurse and in all the community that they are uh, taking care of how to innovate. It's really a great advancement because now we're concentrating on the learning, on the learner rather than the teaching. Uh, all these technologies is not about the lectures of the professors, it's about how the students are learning right now and taking into consideration the profile of the current students. Well, we're always looking for efficient ways of teaching large numbers of people and a lot of these things that we saw today are a scalable approach to, to healthcare education, whether it be a single profession or interprofessional, there, there's a lot of opportunity there. I think this technology, also the gaming, gamification, it's meaning the, um, the interests of the, today's learners, there are a lot of them are going to be coming in, they're digital natives versus immigrants, and they like the fast pace, they like the technology, but there's a purpose and a reason for all of it. It makes it fun, scalable, 24-7, on-demand, uh, flexible, accessible, it's all of those. And the ability to use some of these devices in a, a uh, mobile um, setting. I think was also impressive. So I was totally impressed and, and had fun at the same time. I was impressed as well, and I thought it was interesting that a number of the exhibitors were trying to address such issues as the workforce shortages that might be on the horizon and things like that, contemporary issues that they felt were important, mm -hmm. and they were trying to come up with some technological way to address those issues. One thing I did see, it takes a team. You didn't see a one one man person. You know, it, it takes your developers, your your web programmers, your scientists. It, it, it takes a, it takes a team. Very impressive. And they also go to very different uh, varieties of technology. You could see from video games just to work with uh, in classroom to very sophisticated books or to very, very sophisticated simulations. So I think there's a great variety in terms of the use of technology nowadays. Thank you. Um, that was a very nice overview of all of the participants from last night. I hope many, if not all of you, had a chance to get up there and see it yourself. I'd like to welcome you all back to day two of our workshop. Uh, we're going to start the day first with um, an overview from our co-chair of the forum, uh, Malcolm Cox, who's going to give us some reflections on yesterday. Then we're going to have a session on rethinking training of a new global health workforce. I will take care of that. Yeah, got it. I've got it covered. <laughs> okay. Um, that's going to go over the One Health Network, the One Health Framework. Then we're going to break out, and we're going to have three groups. We're going to divide into three groups and actually revisit the purposes of this workshop. And while in this room, we're going to have webcast viewers. Uh, 
watch a, a presentations from various members of the forum about how their health professional education associations are actually envisioning the future of health professions education. And then we will close with a report back from each of the breakout groups and remarks from uh, Laura Manya via data, da, I, my apologies, <laughs> via data is, uh, on five, where we are now five years after the publication of the Lancet Commission report, Health Professions for a New Century, there really was a founding impetus for our uh, work here at the Global Forum. But before we start that, we are going to do a uh, award ceremony just very briefly here and hear from the winner of the judging last night for the most innovative uh, simulation presentation yesterday. And to have us do that, we have um, Dr. Jeff Teekman, who was our lead judge. He's an anesthesiologist and assistant director for educational technology. He's director of um, the Center for Human, Human Simulation and Patient Safety at Duke University and a founding member of the Society for Simulation in Healthcare, an international society that's interdisciplinary and uh, multi-specialty that brings together both people from the health professions along with human factor, patient safety, and uh, developers to look at how to create new educational devices and programs. So I'll turn it over to Jeff to do the uh, presentation. 